cast down but not destroyed. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed, we are perplexed, but not in despair, 2 Corinthians 4 8. The one thing that is constant about life is that, life is never constant. Rather it is a series of positive experiences and negative experiences. Mountain experiences and valley experiences. Times of happiness and times of sorrow. Times of joy and then times of trials. As in life, there are times and seasons in our walk with God where we have mountain experiences, which are then followed by valley experiences. During our mountain experiences, we feel close to God, we have a strong prayer life, we have a hunger and zeal for the things of God and we yearn for God to use us for His glory. And when we go through our spiritual valley experiences, the opposite is almost always the case. During our valley experiences, we feel spiritually dry, we don't seem to hear from God like we did before, prayer becomes a struggle, reading our Bibles becomes a struggle, we seem to have lost the zeal for the things of God and we feel somewhat distant from God. There are times when obvious sin and willful disobedience to the will of God are the cause of our spiritual weakness and valley experiences. In which case we must repent and once again turn to God in order to again experience His power in our lives. Repent, then, and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. Acts 3:19. However, there are times when our spiritual valley experiences are not as a result of sin and during those times, it is only by drawing closer to Jesus Christ and staying focused upon Him, that we will ultimately overcome. As a follower of Jesus, if you are going through a valley experience right now, I want to firstly encourage you that your situation is not unique and that at some point or the other we all go through it, even Elijah, a prophet powerfully used of God. Elijah, after the spectacular demonstration of the power of God and his defeat against 450 prophets of Baal had his own valley experience, when he heard that Jezebel planned on killing him. Then Elijah walked for a whole day into the desert. He sat down under a bush and asked to die. I have had enough, Lord, he prayed. Let me die. I am no better than my ancestors, 1 Kings 19:4. This was a man who a few verses earlier had just called down fire from heaven and by the power of God, single-handedly defeated 450 pagan prophets of Baal. A demonstration so powerful that those that witnessed it fell prostrate and cried, The Lord, He is God. The Lord, He is God. As followers of Jesus, we can be assured that no matter how heavy, dark and depressing our valley experience is, the Lord is always with us. Psalm 34 18 encourages us that the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. While 1 Peter 5 7 encourages us to cast all our anxieties on Him, because He cares for us, and Elijah is a great example of this. Even in the midst of his depression and moment of weakness, God never left Elijah and was probably closer to Elijah than Elijah realized. The presence of the Lord was still with Elijah and the Lord still showed him compassion and care. All at once an angel touched him and said, Get up and eat. He looked around, and there by his head was some bread baked over hot coals, and a jar of water. He ate and drank and then lay down again. The angel of the Lord came back a second time and touched him and said, Get up and eat, for the journey is too much for you. So he got up and ate and drank. 1 Kings 19 6-8. So it is with us. Christ is probably nearer to us when we feel He is farthest, strengthening us when we feel weakest and protecting us when we feel the most vulnerable. Our God has promised to never leave us nor forsake us and He is not a man that He should lie or the Son of Man that He should change His mind. Numbers 23 19. Therefore, no matter how hopeless, heavy and discouraging your situation or experience may be right now, know this, Jesus Christ is hope to the hopeless, it is He who gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Isaiah 40 29. And surely He is with us always, to the very end of the age. Matthew 28 20. And in the midst of your trials, let the words of Paul in 2 Corinthians 4 be a source of encouragement to you. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed, 
we are perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed. Why? Because no matter what your trial is, no matter what you may be going through, and no matter the opposition that the world and the enemy may bring against you, there is one truth that cannot be shaken. And that truth is this, you are from God and have overcome them, because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. 1 John 4 4 The Good News A Gospel Message of Jesus Christ For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through Him, John 3:16. This is the Gospel Message of Jesus Christ. This is the Good News, friend. If you are listening to this and have not yet come to Jesus Christ and accepted Him as the Savior of your soul and Lord over your life, I urge you to come to Him, today, now, while you have the opportunity. I urge you to turn from your sins and turn to Christ. Christ came into the world to save us from the power of sin, reveal God to us and save our souls, all because of His immeasurable love for us. Without Christ, the very destiny of your soul right this moment hangs in the balance between heaven and hell. An uncomfortable and often unwelcome truth, but a truth nonetheless. A truth being shared with you in love and with urgency because it has eternal and irreversible consequences. The other sobering side of the message is this, whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. John 3:17-18. This moment, a choice lies before you and your decision regarding Jesus Christ will have eternal implications for your soul that cannot be reversed. Telling you tomorrow may be too late may sound like an exaggeration but countless souls thought the same, some ridiculed the message and ignored the opportunity to come to Christ. Many were taken from the world without warning, and now that opportunity is forever lost. Please don't let that be you. Turn to Christ today as your Lord and Savior so that you may be right with God and that your soul be saved. Jesus promises that no one who comes to Him will be turned away. Come to Christ today, tomorrow may be too late. If you would like to know more or would like us to pray with you, kindly email us at standforchrist@mail.com.